gentlemen, thanks for joining us on the BPW Podcast, edition number two. This is Big Joe Machesco, your new face of radio. Today, I do have a special guest, the British Wolf. He will be joining us in just a moment. But before we get into that, I do want to let you know the first show, Battlefield Pro Wrestling Presents Outbreak, will be taking place June the 20th. 2015 in Broadheadsville, Pennsylvania, at the Pleasant Valley High School Gymnasium, just off of Route 209. This is a show you're not going to want to miss. You can reserve your tickets now by calling 1-855-9-BPW-LIVE or sending us an email at tickets at battlefieldprowrestling.com. This show will feature our guest, of course, British Wolf, along with some other top independent talents, such as Rotten Tommy Suede, Sean Maluda, Black G's, and former WWE superstars Carlito Colon, Brodus Clay, a.k.a. Tyrus, Offa Jr., and hometown hero Gene Snitsky. I'm telling you, you are not going to want to miss this show. Reserve your tickets now. So, let me introduce you, British Wolf. Thank you for joining us on this podcast. You are actually the first wrestler introduction that we are doing, so... Go ahead and say hi to the fans. Thanks for having me, Joe. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm very excited that you are on the roster. I know I look forward to seeing you at BPW. I'm uh, glad you signed here because you are a pleasure to watch in the ring. And I definitely feel like we get our money's worth uh, when you leave it all out there. So I do have a few questions for you. I don't want to take too much of your time. Uh, first thing. Probably a good place to start because I honestly can't think of a better place to start than uh, your name. It, it has sort of this mystique around it. Uh, can you explain to me j- just a little bit, how did you get that name, the British Wolf? Well, to break it down for you, um, the word British, I um, actually was born in England. And, um, um, through, through, through my time growing up, I was raised here in the States, in uh, Brooklyn, New York. And that's how the word wolf came into play. I I grew up in um you know in a poor neighborhood, growing up in a hard struggle. You know, technically you could say I was born raised by wolves, and I had to break myself out of that and become the leader, and you know overcome any um obstacles that I came across. Uh, I never allowed my situation that I was in at the time to stop me from dreaming and having hopes and ambition beyond my current um, reality. That is a very interesting story. Um, Definitely growing up on the streets could not have been easy. Uh, Definitely can see how that wolf-like mentality could have have set in. Now, um, you said you grew up in New York. Now, I know you are a graduate of the Wild Samoan Training Center in Allentown, Pennsylvania, run, of course, by the famous Anawahi Dynasty. Now, of all the schools in the country, well, in the world, considering you know you're you're from the UK, uh, why the Wild Samoan Training Center? What what was the big draw that you decided to train there? Well, it's it's true. I I, I was given or had a lot of opportunities to travel and 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 do other training schools, but growing up watching wrestling, you know, it's only two words I could explain it when that was the Rock. As an inspiration to many, I felt, judging by his success and his bloodline, the Samoan dynasty, I felt at the time, if I want to be considered the best, I might as well at least be trained by the best. So that's how the Wild Samoan Training Center prepared me to be on that journey and to become as good as I am right now. So I, I, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead, that's fine. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, uh, I know a lot of the big name wrestlers that have come out of that school. I mentioned it on the first show. It uh, the, the list of who's who's is just absolutely endless. And if we were to sit here and discuss every single wrestler that graduated from that school, we would be here for for quite a while. So um, you know, I think you made obviously a good decision. And uh, you know, I've seen your in ring work, and you're you're well on the way to to being a top guy. Uh, in this in this industry, so um, that's very 
very interesting that that's where you decided to go considering your skill set. Um, it says a lot, and uh, it says a lot about the quality of uh, wrestler that the Wild Samoan Training Center, you know, is producing. Um, now, again, I, I kind of am going to be piggybacking off of that last question that we had here. Uh, okay. Similar, you know, to the, the training school, you know, you've been around the world, you've wrestled here and there, and you, you could have really signed anywhere. Why Battlefield Pro Wrestling? Why VPW? Well, <clears throat> the reason why I wanted to chose um, BPW is because I felt like this is the next step to to make me grow into who I am. And um, watching the reactions and the and the fans gravitate to BPW promotion, it was just phenomenal. And I said, you know what? I have to be a part of this. This is going to be something big. This is going to be something great. And I said to myself. If I join BPW, if I join the movement on June 20th, it's going to be a history making, and I want to be a part of that. And that's what drew me to BPW. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I mean, definitely history is going to be made. The local wrestling scene has not seen anything quite like this. I mean, the uh, opening night roster with the names that I mentioned already, you know, Carlito, um, the Snitsky, Brodus Clay, a.k.a. Tyrus, the Samoan Storm off of Junior, uh, guys like yourself, Sean Maluda, Tommy Swade. It, it's just, it, it's it's a loaded, loaded roster. And uh, local, yeah, local wrestling has not seen anything quite like this. Um, this is bigger than your average, you know, uh, high school gymnasium show. Uh, so, I again, fans, uh, definitely get, a, get in on a part of the action. Call now to reserve your tickets, one eight five five nine bpw live or send us an email, tickets at battlefieldprowrestling.com. We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be back with a few more questions for the British Wolf. Hall of Famer, and you don't want to miss BPW Wrestling. You don't want to miss out. You don't want to get shut out like I always say. Now, can you dig that? Sucker. So you're still looking for a photographer for your important event. Check it out. SK Productions LLC is all about video and photography. We're located in Northeast Pennsylvania and can handle weddings, sporting events, business events, proms, music videos, birthday parties. Uh, I think they get the idea. For your video and photography needs, head over to skproductions.com. That's skproductions.com, skproductions with a Z dot com. Samoan Storm Alpha Jr. talking, and I want to tell you about one thing, and that is on August the 8th, the 6th annual Big Dog Daddy Fest is returning to Lake Ariel, Pennsylvania, and this year, as always, it's to benefit the gift of life and the National Kidney Foundation. So if you're not doing anything on that date, August the 8th, come on by the Lake Ariel, Pennsylvania at the Jefferson Township Fire Company and enjoy some fun. Enjoy some good food and enjoy the gift of life brought to you by the Big Dog Daddy Fest. <sighs> Wild Samoan Training Center at WXWC4 Headquarters. Located at 309 East Hamilton Street, Allentown, Pennsylvania, 18109. The Wild Samoan Training Center has been a staple in pro wrestling for many decades and has produced some of the best athletes and wrestlers to grace the ranks of sports entertainment. Now, with their own brand, 
WXWC4's Blast TV, on the rise. Talent from all over has been clamoring to be a part of the new explosive era. WXWC4 Blast TV, on Service Electric Cable, Friday, 10 p.m., Channel 50, and on Blue Ridge Cable, Saturday, 1 p.m., Channel 13. For any questions, or even to buy a ticket to one of WXWC4's explosive shows, head over to the WXWC4 store at www.wxwc4.com. One more time, that's www.wxwc4.com. Yo, this is Ray Mysterio, and I just want to let you know that you got to join the movement. Battlefield Pro Wrestling, 619 in the house. Yeah! And we are back, folks, at the Battlefield Pro Wrestling Podcast. Here with the British Wolf, I am Big Joe Machesco, and we have a few more questions for you, Wolf, here. Um, the fans want to know, I want to know, as a fan, any matches in your career, in particular, that kind of have a special place in your heart? Sure, but there's one that really sticks out. And um, that match that I wrestled for was um, in WAW Wrestling, which is in UK, owned by the Knight family. Um, I was given that opportunity to wrestle in the country I was born in. Um, I don't know if you, but that's really big for me. You know, the birthplace of where I was born, get to wrestle in front of fans. Uh, you know, I got to build a new fan base out there. It, it was phenomenal. Um the first match I had there was um, a 15-minute match um, against an opponent that was um, quite great in, in, in that ballpark. And um, what, what happened was I gave, I fed the energy from the fans, and that match alone, you know, I think it was probably one of the best ma- matches of the night. And they chanted one more match. They chanted, you know, this is wrestling, and, and it felt good. It felt like home. And it was a great, great, great place to be. And I can't wait to go back and, you know, wrestle over there again and overseas and do more work. But that match, you know, that stuck out, and that was close to my heart. Definitely. I could see why. I mean, wrestling in front of your hometown crowd has to be a rush. Um, you know, coming here in the States and wrestling in the States, it's only going to gonna help you because you're going to have uh, different types of wrestlers, of course, anywhere you go. And, uh, you know, what, what I see here in Battlefield Pro Wrestling is the the roster is very diverse. I mean, you have guys like Snitsky and Brodus Clay who are just monsters. I mean, six over six feet, five inches tall, you know, uh, over 300 pounds. Uh, so, I mean, obviously when you're a wrestler, you, you're going to wrestle anybody. What is your feeling and your mindset when you're getting ready to go out, no matter who your opponent is, what goes on inside your head before you uh, come out of the back? Well, before, what I like to do is to study my opponent. I, I, I like to use the word strategy, and I figure out no matter how big or tall they are, I find a way to break them down, use their weak points against them, do something that I knew that a wolf would do. And I'll break them down to my level even less so I could find a way to win a match as good as possible. But most importantly, it's not my opponent, it's not even the referee that I think about. What's going on inside of my head is the fans who didn't and did join me in my journey to come over um, to come over and see my obstacles that I overcame. Um, and that's, that alone, that's, that draws me to the crowd. And that's what goes on. Just the crowd and what they chant and what and if they're behind me or not. So you're really, in a, in a nutshell, you're you're here primarily for for your fans. Is what it sounds like. That's correct. I'm here for everyone. I'm here for the ones that chant 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 me on. I'm here for the ones that don't. You know, I'm I'm here for EPW fans because trust me, they're gonna be in for a treat. On June twentieth, they're gonna be their mind is gonna be blown away. And I can't wait for that day to come. 
Um, yeah, I, I agree. I can't wait myself. I, I've seen uh, a, f- a few of your matches. I know uh, what caliber of wrestler you are. And it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out because, again, this isn't uh, your average, everyday uh, pro wrestling roster. I mean, th- these guys have been, you know, around the world. They're experienced. They're big. They're tough. They're nasty. Uh, so you're going to be, be facing... Uh, a very diverse roster, and I think that's what wrestling needs. And, uh, you know, I know that you are uh, a busy person, so I just have one last question that the uh, EPW fans beg to ask because we did uncover a little bit about you, but if you want to leave the BPW fans with anything, why should they pay money to come see the British Wolf June the 20th in Broadheadsville, PA? Well, simple. I, I just want to show the world that what the British Wolf has to offer. Um, I want you guys to keep in contact with me through my um, social media, Instagram and Twitter, which is at the British Wolf. Um, I just want to show you that a, a kid from the UK that's coming out to live his dream. Um, and trust me, when you get to know the British Wolf, whenever I set my mind to, I achieve. Um, I'm not easily intimidated. I fight for what I believe in, and I'm not amused by material things, although if there's a BPW title event, I want that. There you have it, folks. British Wolf in the States and on the hunt for the BPW title. Wolf, I thank you for your time. It was a pleasure speaking with you, and we will see you June the 20th in Broadheadsville, PA, at the Pleasant Valley High School Gymnasium for Battlefield Pro Wrestling Presents Outbreak. Wolf, you take care. Thank you, you too. There you have it, folks. That is one of the BPW talent, the British Wolf, one of the up-and-coming independent and international superstars that you can see. Again, that's June the 20th, 2015, in Broadheadsville, Pennsylvania. Reserve your tickets now by calling 1-855-9-BPW-LIVE or online by emailing us at tickets at battlefieldprowrestling.com. On the next podcast, we do have Battlefield Pro Wrestler Sean Maluda in the studio for uh, an interview. So be sure to check that out. And we will catch you next time, fans. This is Big Joe Machesco signing off.